hello everyone welcomes you all to another video so in this video I'm going to tell you how to write the data on a file on your SD card okay so let's begin with we'll create a new project okay so its name will be I'll given the name as file writer application so let's start with UI so I'll I'm going to change this construct constraint layout with the linear layout and then here the orientation will be vertical okay so later I'll need one edit text uh, and the width will be match parent and height will be wrap content I'll give the ID as et underscore data and then I'll need one button button and I'll name it as done okay so one more thing is like uh, whatever the data I'm going to write on a file I'll show here on a text view okay so for that I'll need text view as well mm, so here um, this is my text view and the text will be no data and I'm going to give the ID as text view data all right so that is it data it is text view data and just for the UI purpose I am going to give the text or a label over a text is data and um, text style will be bold and uh, next let's give the um, margin top margin margin will be around 20 dp top and uh, here also it will be 20 dp at the top okay and i'll give the padding to whole layout as 20 dp okay so this is my ui and here i'll add the placeholder go to my edit text as hint placeholder will be hint so enter text or enter data that's it so uh, let's begin with um, we'll create references to our our widgets so all the widgets should be private as we are going to use in this file only it text RET data and my button will be button done and then uh, private text view okay text view will be TV data now I'm going to attach or I'll give the references to these variables find view by rd okay button done and find view by rd r dot id dot button done that's done and then but text view text view data will be find view by id r dot id dot text view data okay so this thing is done now that button done for that i need to basically implement on click listener for that and uh, on click listener yep so there will be one method which i'll need to implement which is on click and so I implemented just a by using shortcut key that is alt enter and uh, as soon as uh, a user clicks on button done so what we need to do is like I need to first take out the data from uh, my edit text okay so that's what I'm going to do 
empty data dot get text dot to string and then um, I need to verify whether the data user enter the data or not so str data dot length should be greater than zero else I need to tell the user that there is an I mean I need to tell him to enter the data enter data so here what I need to do the first thing uh, I'll show the data into my text view set set text and that is my str data okay so that is done and the second thing which I need to do is like write the data in file data okay so this is the method which I am going to implement for writing the data into a file okay so prior to that I need to I, I mean I'll give a name of the file globally so I'll create a variable for that equals to slash uh, I'll write a name as writer writer demo dot txt file writer demo okay after that in the write data what I need to do is like first of all I need to um, get the um, path to my uh, SD card so for that environment is a variable from where we get the external storage directory path okay so this will be my file object which will return and then I will need to uh, get the absolute path from this file object I imported file and then sorry not path get absolute path and then I'll attach my file name to it so at this path I want to create my file so that is done and this is nothing but my uh, str file path okay uh, this thing is done now what I'll need is uh, an output stream writer to write my file or uh, data into my file basically okay so that is what I'm going to tell you so let's go over here okay so what is file output stream is file output stream is meant for writing streams of raw bytes such as image data for writing streams of characters consider using file writer so uh, we are going to take the file output stream okay and after that uh, so I'll tell you why we are going to use file output stream but uh, actually we are going to write the data using file writer only but we'll need file output stream just to get the file descriptor so what is file descriptor it is an opaque handler uh, to the underlying machine specific structure representing an open file and open source packet. opaque handler means uh, non-transparent to the underlying machine specific structure okay so thus why we are going to use a file output stream so let's quickly will write the code for that file output stream file output stream equals to new file output stream so we got the stream and will provide our file path to it after that out of stream Right. first of all I'll, as I told you I will, we are going to use the file writer so let's me create the uh, object for file writer new file writer and um, I'll need to give uh, see if you go to the file writer see uh, there are file descriptor is a uh, constructor is there as a file descriptor so that's why I'm going to use 
so you can directly anyways pass the uh, file uh, I mean path to this but I'm going to use the file descriptor here okay so file descriptor and why file descriptor because it will act as a buffer so that's why else you can directly uh, give the path to the file writer stream, uh, and you can start uh, writing the data so file output stream dot get fd okay so what it says that um, we need to add the file node for an exception but uh, we can instead of file node exception we can um, give the io exception so file not found exception can comes under the io exception so we don't need to mention uh, file not i found exception okay mm. now there is file writer dot write simply we need to write the data str oops I haven't passed the data here so let me click, click pass the data and data okay and then file writer dot close I close the file writer but one more thing I'll need to close is like uh, file output stream but prior to that uh, we got the file descriptor so we need to sync the file descriptor so what sync method does is whatever the buffer data it has it just writes it and completes the after that only we should close the file output stream so it is good practice to do so okay so this is done now yeah here we need to pass the data okay so we are good with the file writing stuff but one more thing is remaining is like we are writing the data on our SD card so we'll need to give the uh, storage permission okay so that's what I'm going to give it over here in the manifest file and then in the uh, main activity so as soon as you give the storage permission we'll need to ask user to give us the permission or allow us to write okay so for that we'll quickly create one method check per mission and uh, void private so what we are going to do here is like first we'll check if the permission has been granted okay so for that what we do know, need to do is like check permission and we need to pass uh, so this is the method which checks whether the permission has been given or not okay to this application and we'll need to pass the permission to this method so manifest manifest dot permission dot write external storage if it is not equals to granted so if suppose it is not equals to granted so we'll need to ask for the permission to the user so that's what we are doing here uh, we need to app compact ask for the permission right uh, activity compact is the class like for this uh, that we can request for the permission using that so we need to uh, give the context after that we need to give the number of permissions for which we are going to ask the user so you can ask a number of permissions over here and then manifest dot permission dot write external storage okay that's the permission and then again we need to pass it as the request code uh, yeah so why do we need to pass the request code cause there is one more method on request let me see on request permission result so here we can check if the user has granted the permission or not so that is that using this request code 
uh, we can verify that it's the same callback for which we have asked user to give us the permission so you can add the if else loop and check that so as of now we won't going to add that and uh, we'll ask user the check permission and we are going to ask the permission I mean we are going to call it on on activity create so yes I feel like we are good to go and then I'll run the application and we'll see whether it's working properly or not so this error it seems like <clears throat> check permission is not the proper method it is check self permission check self permission okay yeah that's it and one more thing is like uh, add this check like uh, it should be above the marshmallow in that scenario only we need to call this method else it's not necessary so i'll quickly run the application now and we'll see if it is running or not and the application is running as soon as the application launch we can see the file it asks for the permission to access photos media and files on your device okay so we need to give the permission and uh, okay so we'll write something here uh, so maybe we'll write a message proper message that welcome to bad codes okay and we'll click on done Oops. to bad codes so we should be able to see this uh, welcome to the bad codes in a file which for which like uh, we have named as file writer demo so inside that we should be able to see this text so let's quickly uh, go into the file manager and see yeah so this is my file manager and here you can see the file writer demo at the last and I'll open it so this is the text we can see yes we have successfully uh, done the file writing on our SD card so in the next video what we'll do is like we'll read the same file and we'll show the text from the file to our text view instead of directly showing the text from edit text to our text view so that's it from today's video if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel thank you